In the past tutorial, we have seen how to build and control this awesome huge LED matrix. But I also said that we will control it using a Bluetooth connection. So today we will see how to establish that Bluetooth connection and send text to our Arduino using a smartphone. So let's see how it's done. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back! So we have seen how to build the matrix. Now let's rewind the video till the point where we program the Arduino. Ok, now wait, I don't want to display just the text that I define when I upload the code. I want to be able to change that text using my smartphone. You could find both codes in the description. One for a predefined text to display that you could change only if you reprogram the Arduino. And another one with a Bluetooth module connection. Ok, I designed this app with the App Inventor tool. If you want to design your own, just watch my video tutorial on how to create your own app and control the Arduino. The video link is in the description. Ok, so we will use this HC06 Bluetooth module. All we have to do is to connect 5 volts and ground from the Arduino and supply to the module. Also, connect the TX and RX pin as in the schematic. Now, we are ready to receive data using a Bluetooth connection. I've used some female pins for the module so I could take it out whenever I want. That's because we can program the Arduino with the module connected, because it is using the same RX and TX pins as the FTDI module. Ok, so now we have the module connected, so let's get back to the code. I've tuned a little bit the code in order to be able to receive the data from the smartphone and change the scrolling text. Here we define the number of devices. In this case, 4 because we are using 4 8x8 matrices in series, each with its own driver. Here we define the screw speed. I think 60 is a good delay. Lower this value if you want a faster scrolling text. Now we have to select our data, clock and load pins. As we could see in the previous schematic, I've used pin 11, 13 and 10 from the Arduino. Ok, so now we have to store on the flash memory each character to display one by one. We have to create a new char variable and store the data using the progmem keyword. Progmem tells the compiler put this information into flash memory instead of SRAM where it would normally go. So here is the list of all the numbers, characters and symbols. You can see that each variable of scroll text has a different number. In the setup void, we begin the serial communication for the Bluetooth module and also start up the Mac 72 19 drivers and clear the display matrix. Now, in the infinite loop, we first check if there is a new text coming through the serial communication. We store the received data of the message variable as a string. Now, all we have to do is to print on the display each letter one by one. For that, we create a loop that will execute itself a number of times equal to the message length. Using it, we detect which character to print and print the corresponding text to the matrix. We do this for each possible character. It's quite a long list, but we have to do it if we want to use the entire alphabet. We are done. Let's upload the code to the Arduino and give it a test. Remember that you can't upload the code if the Bluetooth module is connected. The Arduino uses the same RX and TX pins of the Ward port to upload the code using the FTDI chip. So make sure you disconnect the module before you upload the code and connect it back once uploaded. Ok, download and install the app to your Android device. Enable Bluetooth connection and pair your smartphone with the HC06 module using 1234 or 0000 password. Once you are synchronized with the module, open the app and connect to the module. Once connected, type the text to send followed by a blank space and press send. Wait for the last display text to finish scrolling and there you go. The received text is now displayed. I will leave the App Inventor project in the description if you want to see how to send text with the Android app to the Arduino and use it in any other project of yours. Ok, so our project is done. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any question, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one and also share my videos with your friends because that will help me a lot. Consider help me on my Patreon page for more awesome projects. 
Thanks again and see you later guys.